the 2009 German Protestant Church Congress in German Kirchentag, a biannual national meeting of the Protestant Church in Germany was an event of superlatives. Over the course of several days, more than 100,000 people took part in approximately 2,500 activities and, of course, needed to get from one venue to another. With events of this kind, it's hard to predict how many attendees each activity will attract and how many people will gather at any given place and time. This is a challenge both for the organizers as well as for the city and its transportation planners. Since such events often bring car traffic to a standstill and require the closure of many major roads, public transport is in great demand. But even with additional vehicles in use, the system can easily reach capacity limits at times. Before and after highly popular events, transport nodes become overcrowded. An interesting but until now underrated complement to the transportation plan for major events is the bicycle. It doesn't require much space and can usually be parked easily near the venue. It's non-polluting, flexible and quiet. However, most visitors arrived for the Kirchentag by train or bus and a few by car and didn't have bikes with them and the large number of rental bikes that would be required for the short period wasn't available. In preparing for the 32nd German Protestant Kirchentag in 2009 in Bremen, the initiators of the project Bike Friendly Kirchentag took on this challenge. First, the Bremen National Bicycle Association in Bremen, that's to say the regional Bremen branch, came up with the idea of making this church congress bike friendly. These ideas were translated into a plan with concrete measures that included planning for bike-friendly arrivals in Bremen as well as the allocations of infrastructure. Their goal was to develop convenient and easily transferable solutions for the use of bikes during a major event. In the organization, however, some special challenges arose. Of course, there are a lot of issues to be coordinated with other authorities, with the Kirchentag organizers and with other stakeholders. Talks began well in advance of the event, mainly between the initiators, the Bremen Transport Authorities and the German National Cycling Association, the ADFC, together with the organizers of the 32nd German Protestant Kirchentag. The main venues, Market Square, Bürgerweide, means the fairgrounds and Überseestadt means a converted commercial harbour, will be connected safely and directly by these bike paths and the attendees can find and get to the venues by using the signage system, indicating both destinations and distances. One distinctive feature of the Bremen plan is that an event bike was designed especially for the Kirchentag. These bikes were made available for sale, with some also for rent. The initiators were able to convince the northern German bicycle manufacturer Raben Eich and the Bremen bike retailer 123 Rad to take the entrepreneurial risk of jointly developing a Kirchentags bike and producing 1,000 units in advance. The frames are all a size 50. It was a special challenge to make it fit everyone. Another distinctive feature is the special color developed for the Kirchentag. It's an ocean blue powder coating. We have special decal sets and an Arbus brand lock mounted on the bikes for the Church Congress, so the bike can't be stolen. These bikes were available for sale on site to the Kirchentag's attendees and could also be ordered in advance. In order to create as flexible and comprehensive bike rental service as possible, used bikes were also collected. Via the media, the initiators asked the citizens of Bremen to donate bikes for the Kirchentag. These were collected by non-profit bike repair shops and repaired, like here at the Walle Occupational and Trading Association, abbreviated in German as Warbeck. I read in the newspaper that they were looking for bikes for people to get around on, so I donated it. Unfortunately, I can't support the Kirchentag because of time restraints, but I thought this was a good opportunity. This is an old bike of our children. It stood around in the garage for quite a while because of a minor flaw. 
but this flaw can be repaired. I wanted to donate it and this is my opportunity to do that. Ich habe mir gedacht für den Zweck äh, es dem Kirchentag zur Verfügung zu stellen. I thought I could make it available for the Kirchentag, me being a Protestant, and as there are people who can dress up the bike a bit and make it available for Kirchentag attendees, I thought it was appropriate. This all took place at the four supporting organizations. Here, at the Warbeck repair shop, the bicycles were not only repaired, but also thoroughly cleaned. Here we have a bike from the late 50s, early 60s, which came to us completely rusted out. We had our repair stuff disassemble it completely and refurbish all the parts. In order to let attendees know about the bike-friendly Kirchentag project, the initiators and organizers promoted their service and explained the motivation behind it. It allowed the Kirchentag organizers to demonstrate their commitment to the environment, even at such a large event. With the bike offer, it was hoped the Kirchentag attendees in Bremen would be motivated to more sustainable behavior, both in terms of consumption and mobility. I hope this becomes a sort of kickoff, so we can collaborate with other cities in the future and publicize our commitment to the bike as an important part of our mobility. Bremen is a city of short distances. Here we have three major venues where the Kirchentag is taking place. And we want mobility between these venues to be as environmentally friendly as possible. So, it's time to get serious. On the 20th of May 2009, the moment had come. The Kirchentag had started and it was the big arrival day. We were about to see if the concept of bike friendliness could prove itself. The first success a whole bunch of attendees had been motivated enough to arrive in Bremen by bike. Man is irgendwo gleich uh, irgendwie integriert, ne? Also gerade Somehow, somewhere, you are immediately integrated, especially the cyclists. That's such a community of individualists. So we wanted to get into the spirit. We visited churches along the way. We took our time, and we were gentle on the earth. All that was part of our perspective. Well, it was really cool because it was one leg per day. You have different groups. It's a community. That's really cool. And it's always fun. I'm from Ulm and I met some friends in Stuttgart. From there we traveled to Cologne by train. We met the group Pilgrims on Bikes there and started cycling from Cologne. I've already been to several church congresses and I found the offer of a bike-friendly Kirchentag so attractive that I said, that's something I've always wanted to do, to ride my bike to the Kirchentag, so that's what I did. When they arrived in Bremen, the more than 200 cyclists received a special welcome just for them at the Kirchentag. Certainly we would have wished for even more people to come by bike. We know that at least twice the number who came to us arrived by bike, but now we'll work together with the Protestant Church and the Boy Scouts as well as Catholic and Protestant youth groups to raise the numbers at future church congresses. At the same time, the distribution of Kirchentag bikes started near the Central Railway Station. Ja, wir kommen heute aus Köln zum Kirchentag und da ja heute auch meine Tochter Geburtstag hat. Well, we came from Cologne today for the Kirchentag and since it's my daughter's birthday today and she desperately needs a new bike, I thought, that's it. She can take it with her right now. I read about it on the internet, found out how it was equipped and thought, price-wise, in terms of equipment, it's great, nice color. And it's something special. I have needed a new bicycle for quite a while because I have one that's 60, 70 years old now. And since this one is by Rabenmeik, the same brand as my old one, I was quite interested right from the start. So I decided to go for it because for that the bike offers it's a good deal. At 399 euros I was convinced pretty quickly. Other visitors had heard about the bike but wanted to find out more on site before deciding to buy one. Or they wanted to test it first. Yes, we certainly offer bikes for loan first and afterwards the customers may buy it as a Kirchentag tested bike. Then it's somewhat cheaper. This way they can test the bike first and buy it later. 
Kirchentag volunteers staff the three rental stations directly at the main venues. Here, many people take advantage of the offer to take one of the donated and refurbished bikes for free for three hours. There were times when the rental stations ran out of bikes. There were also mobile repair shops on site, with mechanics fixing minor problems on the spot, as far as that was possible. These are signs of wear and tear. The chain simply has no grip anymore, so it has to be changed. That's something I probably can't do during the Church Congress, so this one is out of circulation for the time being. In cases like this, replacement bikes were provided immediately, of course. During the five days of the event, cyclist volunteers from Bremen gave advice to large numbers of cyclists from other parts of the country at the ADFC information stands. However, visitors were also able to find a lot of valuable information such as bike routes, bike parking and the above-mentioned bike loan stations in the special bike-friendly Kirchentag Bremen city map. As predicted, the main routes between the venues were crowded with pedestrians and cyclists. In some places, the organizers restricted or blocked private car traffic and created separate lanes for tram, buses, pedestrians and cyclists. While this decision provided relief for road traffic and created pleasant conditions for cyclists, passengers getting on and off buses and trains often had to be patient. Kirchentag attendees, who were curious about the bike friendliness project, were provided with background information in an exhibition that also included information on the bike friendliness of the host city. As a model project, the 2009 Kirchentag was the first major bike friendly event of this scale. One important element proved to be providing enough parking spaces for bikes. Distributed among all the venues, 1,000 bike racks were installed in Bremen for the Kirchentag, creating 2,000 additional parking spots for bikes. We have several sites for the bike racks. One of them is the AWD dome at the fairground. We clearly don't have enough bike racks. We can see that already. They are extremely popular and the visitors are happy to be able to leave their bikes there. But the main thing we see is that an incredible number of people are riding bikes these days. The demand was greater than the supply. So many attendees have had to lock their bikes to anything available, such as the fairground fences. We know that really lots and lots of people are traveling by bike and that the bike loan is being well used and that the Kirchentag are selling well. You can see them all over the city. We are listening and talking to people. Wherever we meet them, they tell us that they like riding their bikes anyway. Some people come to the stand and say they want to become involved with the ADFC or tell us why they don't ride a bike. For instance, because they are staying in Oldenburg and it's too expensive to take it on the train. Or they'd like to have their bikes with them and don't want to leave it parked in Bremen. I'm from Darmstadt. We've been attending the Kirchentag for years and I ride my bike a lot at home and we're staying quite close. It's simply easier to go from one event to another by bike than to take public transport. Besides, they did a lot of publicity and the maps, they're great because the bike paths are clearly marked and it's just inviting. We're a larger group, 15 people. Our group leader organized the bikes for us. We tried to collect them this morning on time, but it didn't work so well because somehow the key wasn't there. But after a bit of delay, we got all our bikes. I'm very happy with the bike so far. It's very comfortable and it rides well. Well, this is my third Kirchentag. In Hanover and Cologne, I didn't see any bikes available to borrow, so I think it's unusual. But I have to say, it's a great idea. We've just borrowed these bikes. We used the fantastic service provided by these nice volunteers, and now we actually just want to ride to the supermarket. It lends itself to cycling. With the parking problems, you can't get anywhere here by car. With a bicycle, you're much more independent. You get from one venue to the other quickly. I like that. I really love cycling. You're outdoors and you get around a bit faster than by walking. And you can see quite a bit. And you're not stuck in these crowded trams where you don't see anything of the city anyway. And you get to your destination faster. Well, before we came here, we thought it wouldn't be bad to get around by bike. And when we saw it here, we thought we'd do it. Somehow you're just more flexible. It's more convenient and quicker. 
And, I don't know, Wuppertal is so mountainous and Bremen is flat. We just wanted to take advantage of this opportunity to enjoy cycling here. Certainly, in Bremen it was great to get through the city centre much, much quicker by bike. You're fast by bike anyway, and so I made use of it many times, just to see how I can get to places quicker and more easily by bike. In comparison to the car, you're much closer to things on a bike. You experience the atmosphere in a different way. You can stop and look at things along the way. You can talk to people. You can get closer to what you want to feel, to the mood and the city. That's great, and it really worked well. On the one hand, the bikes relieved our mobility challenges. Many people rode to the Überseestadt and on the Schlachte boardwalk. At times, it really was like a small parade. We're really glad this project worked out so well. From our perspective, it was very important to work with partners who brought so much expertise to the task and who went above and beyond the call of duty. This was the first major event that consistently put the bicycle at the center of its activities and communicated it both beforehand and during the event itself. The lessons we've learned clearly demonstrate that, with events like this one, the bike is not just a fun vehicle, but contributes massively in preventing congestions. They also brought a very high level of satisfaction among visitors and participants at the event. The potential for non-motorized modes of transport, for example in most German cities, hasn't even begun to be exhausted. Maybe in Bremen you could say we have begun. There's so much room to relieve the overall traffic situation and to make sure that everyone reaches his or her destination. That the conception and implementation of the project were successful is also recognized through the award the initiators received from the Federal Ministry of Transport in Berlin. About 100,000 visitors were in Bremen. The concept provided to us by the Senate convinced us that not only the major event itself can be conceived in a bike-friendly way, but that we can use the multiplier effect. All of these Kirchentag attendees may change their everyday behavior when they get back to their hometowns. So this is our Best for Bike Award, and of course all of us, that's to say the Kirchentag, the ADFC, and also we as citizens of Bremen can be proud of it. Because it's an award for the bike-friendly Kirchentag. It makes us, as a bike-friendly city, especially happy to have been recognized. The main lesson to be learned is that major events with short distances between venues, as was the case for this Kirchentag, can be carried out very, very well by bike because it's a kind of mobility that's enjoyable for everybody. As a matter of fact, the bike is the healthiest, most environmentally friendly and quietest means of transport, and it doesn't need much space, so it works very, very well.